Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this extra, extra, extra large cat bed. That's my cat, Steve. He, every cat bed I ever made him, it was never big enough. So I decided I was going to make him a huge one. Now this can be used for uh, probably like, what do you think, Eric? A medium sized dog? Oh yeah. Yeah. Steve, probably about 20, 25 pounds, probably. He's yeah. big. He's a big cat. Was so, about 21, 22 inches across, right? Um, I don't. It might be measure. Give it a measure. We did uh, fold down the top just a bit. You don't have to do that. Just for decoration. See how. Let's but see. roughly. Without it folded down, what is it across? It's roughly like 22. And then without it folded down. Yeah, we fold the top down a little bit. It makes it stand up a little. Seven and a half. But you can. Yeah. Get, you can go a little taller. And I say in the video that you can make it smaller also if you have a smaller dog or a smaller cat. But this is what it looks like with the top not folded down. You can see I did a single cro or a slip stitch edge and a single crochet edge. It's very easy. It's all single crochet, either done in the back loop, regular, or slip stitch. And then we just fold it down the top just a bit and it helped it to stand up a little bit better. As you can see, Steve likes it. Lost you lost hat. your hat, Steve. Steve. Cool. Tell everybody. See, let's get started on this. See, it took my mom forever to make me one. Steven. All right, let's do this. Okay, for this project, I use Lion Brand Velux Jumbo Yarn. It is a Jumbo Number no. Seven. Now, you don't have to use this yarn. It is a pretty nice yarn. It's chain spun velvety jumbo. It's kind of cool. It's got a nice stretch on it. Um, but yeah, you don't have to use this yarn. Jumbo number, any Jumbo Number no. Seven will work. It's a 100% polyester. Nurse. There are 21 yards in here and I went through nine balls but like I said my cat bed is big because my cat's like 25 pounds and it's big for him so I, you know I think it would even work for a well he fits in it quite nicely I mean it work well for a nice medium sized dog but I, you know you can make it smaller also but yeah I went through nine of these the color I have I used is uh, this right here and then I'm going to be using a size S, which is a 19 millimeter crochet hook. I think that's what they recommended. Yeah, I did use the recommended hook size on this. So it's super easy. Let's go ahead. Super easy to make. It's super easy to adjust to your size of whatever animal you're making it for. So let's go ahead and get started on this. All right. We're going to start off with a slip knot on our hook. Sharon sure feels pretty nice. All right. Let's go ahead and work a chain of three. One, two, and three. Now I'm going to slip stitch right back into my first chain to form a ring. Give you a tip. I always use my middle finger here and stick it through the center of the ring as I pull my slip stitch through. That way the ring, I can easily find the ring. So now I know that my middle finger there is through the center of the ring. So now I'm going to start off by chaining one. Now that chain one does not count as a stitch. And now I'm going to work six single crochets through the center of that ring. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it apart a little bit. Go in there with my hook and draw up a loop. And I'm going to work six singles. So there's one. Once you get that first one in, it's a little easier to see. There's two, three, you can slide them over if need be, four, five, this is the hardest, this is probably the hardest row, don't worry, I just get to getting this. And six. So we got our six single crochets for the base. Now we're going to build the base as big as we want it to be. So we're going to need some type of a stitch marker. 
I generally just use a piece of yarn for a stitch marker, but you can use whatever you want. So we're going to be working in continual rounds, which means that we will not be ending our round, our rounds on the base with a slip stitch until we get the final round finished. So I'm going to go ahead and put a stitch mark here. That way I know where I end and where I begin. Now remember, this chain one does not count as a stitch. I like to count backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I know that my first stitch needs to go right here. This is our first single crochet, because sometimes that chain one appears to be a single crochet, but it's not. So what we're gonna do for round two, you'll have six stitches here at the end of round one. We're just gonna jump over here to our first single crochet, and we're gonna put two single crochets into that stitch. Maybe. There's one. And there's two. Now I'm going to work around and I'm going to put two single crochets in each of those six stitches from round one. So one in that one two in that one. Again, the next one. There's one. There's two. And we're going to work two in every stitch until we get back to our starting point. There's one, two. I'll keep going. I'm almost there. One, and two. Now I got one more stitch before my stitch marker. One, two. So now I'm at my stitch marker and you should have a total of 12 stitches now at the end of round two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And I do. So what I'm gonna do now for round three, I'm gonna pull my marker up and place it right here and I'm going to start again. So for round three the repeat is going to be one single crochet into the next stitch and then two single crochets into the next. This yarn's a little slippery. I like it. It feels stretchy but it's slippery. one single crochet into the next stitch and two singles into the next and we're going to repeat this pattern for round three one single into the next and two singles into the next one single into the next and two singles into the next until we get back around to our stitch marker all right i have come to the end of round three and in your last stitch, you should have had two single crochets and you should have a total of 18 stitches now. I think my cat's going to like this. It's actually kind of soft and I like it. It's soft and velvety. Go ahead and move your stitch marker up and we're going to start round four. Round four, the repeat is going to be one single crochet into the next two stitches and then two single crochets into the next. So we'll go ahead and put one single crochet in the next two stitches. So there was one, one into the next makes two, and then our next stitch will have two single crochets in it. And then we're going to repeat that all the way around for round four. One single crochet into the next two, there's one, one in the next, and then two single crochets. Oops into the next. So I'm going to repeat this pattern of one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochets into the next all the way around until I get to the end of row four. Okay, I've made it to the end of row four and you should have two single crochets in your last stitch and you should have a total of 24 stitches now. Now we're going to start round five, move our stitch marker up, and now we're going to put one single crochet into the next three stitches. So it would be single crochet, single crochet, single, single crochet, and then two single crochets into the next. And that'll be the repeat for round five. So I'm going to do one single crochet 
into the next three stitches. So that was one, this is two, and this is three. And then my next stitch will have two single crochets into the next stitch. And this is the repeat. I'm going to repeat for round five. One single crochet into the next three stitches. There's one. Here's two. Here's three. And then two singles into the next. Now I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way around until I get back to my stitch marker. You see it's starting to take a little bit of a, a round shape. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna increase till we get to the size that we want it to be. I guess that really depends on the size of your cat, but mine's pretty big. My, one of my cats, that I, the cat that I'm making this for, is pretty big, so I'm gonna be making a big circle. But I'm gonna continue around until I make it back to my stitch marker. All right, I have made it to the end of round five, and now I have 30 stitches. And I'm gonna go ahead and move my stitch marker up for round six. Now, what we're gonna do is we are going to put one single crochet into the next four stitches and then two single crochets into the next. And that's what we're gonna do all the way around. That's gonna be the repeat. One single crochet into two, four stitches and two single crochets into the next until we get to the end of round six. Um, and then we'll have six more stitches than we did the previous round. And then we'll start round seven. Round seven will be one single crochet into the next five stitches. And then two single crochets into the next. Round eight will be one single crochet into the next six stitches. And then two single crochets into the next. So you're just, every round you're just uh, adding a sing one more single crochet before you do the two single crochets in each stitch. Every round will have six more stitches than the previous round. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue increasing in the same manner that we've been doing until what you wanna do it, until you reach the size that you want your base to be. Maybe you have a small kitten and you don't want it very big. Um, like I said, I have a large cat, so I'm gonna be making a big, a bigger base. But you can do as many, it doesn't matter how many rounds that, of increases that you do for your base. There's no certain multiple. You just keep increasing in the same manner that we've been increasing until you get your base the size that you want it to be. And then we'll start building up the walls. So I'm going to continue around and around um, increasing in the same manner until I get my base as big as I want it to be. And then I'll meet back up with you in just a second. Okay, I have been working on mine and I got mine as big as I want it to be. Now it's gonna look, it's not gonna look like a circle. You see, it's gonna be kind of like, uh, but uh, like a hexagon, I guess. Um, but that's fine. As soon as we start building up the sides, it'll turn circular. So it measures, mine measures approximately 22 inches across. Remember, I have a big cat, my cat's big. So you make yours, you know, to fit your cat. So I have done a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 rounds. And I have, I've made it back to my stitch marker and I have 72 stitches now. So now what we're going to do is build up the sides, which is easy. It's single crochet, but what we're going to be doing is just we're going to be working in one loop only. So we're going to start off by working in the, we're going to go ahead and move our stitch marker up. We're not going to be doing any more increases now. Now we're going to start building the sides. And we are going to be working in the front loop only. You see how the stitch has two loops. The one closest to you right here would be the front loop. The one furthest away would be your back loop. So we're just going to single crochet. I'm sorry, we're going to be working in the back loop only, not the front. So we'll go right through the back and single crochet like that. And we're going to work one single crochet in the back loop only of every single stitch. Now I'm on round 13 because I did 12 rounds for my base and now I'm building up my sides 
back loop only Oops. one single crochet in every stitch until you get back to your stitch marker if you made yours smaller you know you won't have as for you won't have as many stitches as me this is what we're gonna do no more putting two double crochets in the same stitch we're done with that now it's all one double crochet we're working in the back loop only of every stitch until we get back to our stitch marker and you can see but over here that's going to start to build up the sides and it makes that nice ridge there on the bottom so i'm going to continue around working a back loop only single crochet until i make it back to my stitch marker all right once you've made it back around to your stitch marker which i have done what we're going to do is just we're going to move our stitch marker up you should have the same amount of stitches i have 72 from my big old cabinet um and now that was round 13 i just did and now i'm going to start round 14 and i'm just going to repeat what i did on round 13. one single crochet in the back loop only so now for the sides i am just working one single crochet in the back loop only for however many rounds i want my cat bed to be tall so you just continue working rounds of one if i said double crochet i'm sorry one single crochet into the back loop only of every stitch my yarn's tangled and you do that round and around and around until you get your cat bed or dog bed as tall as you want it to be i'm not quite sure how many rounds i'll do for mine probably till i run out of yarn i would imagine but as you can see by working in the back loop only it's putting those just kind of decorative ridges on it so back loop only until i get back to my stitch marker move it up back loop only again one single crochet all the way around until we get it a little bit taller okay so i have went ahead and done a total of 12 13 i did 12 on the bottom 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 rows so um and that makes from the bottom up now this is mine you can do yours different about Oh, it's so big. My cat's so big. It's about six and a half inches now. Now what I'm going to do is stop going through the back loop. And I'm going to do um, a round or two of just regular single crochet going through both loops. So I'm going to go ahead and move my stitch marker up. Still working with my stitch marker. And now I'm just going to go through both loops. Not just the back loop. This will help straighten up the top a little bit. So now I'm going around one single crochet through both loops now and I'm going to do I believe two rounds like that so this will be the first one and then when I get back to my stitch marker I'll move it up and I'll do another round of one single crochet going through both loops of the bed and I'll meet back up with you after I finish those two rounds of single crochet Okay, I've made it back around. I decided to only do one row of double crochet, but you could do more if you want, depending how tall you want it, want it to be. But I'm going to do one final round, and what I'm going to do is I move my stitch marker up. I'm going to do a final round of slip stitching in every single stitch all the way around. So I'm just going to do a slip stitch into every stitch. This will be my finishing round. See that just gives it a little bit of a decorative edge i guess and i'm gonna slip stitch all the way around until i make it back to my stitch marker and we'll be done after i hide some tails 
sure hope my cat likes it. There we go. So that's what the edge looks like on so when we slip stitch all the way around. Back to your starting point. I've made it back to the end of my final round of slip stitching. And here was my first slip stitch. I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into that first slip stitch where the stitch marker is and tie off. What I'm going to do is pull a little bit of this long tail out, snip it, and weave it in. Um, and I'm going to weave in all my tails. All right, once you are finished, you can hide all the tails and be done. Steve found it. Steve likes it. He's got plenty of room in there. He's not sharing with anybody. Now, uh, if you feel like it might be, uh, this is what it looks like completely standing up. You can see Steve's butt making it, <laughs> making it lopsided there. You can um, fold the top down just a bit like this, and that'll help it keep st standing up straight also. But otherwise, my standing up pretty straight on its own. But that's it. What do you think, Steve? Oh, oh, oh! You sticking me bugging you? You sticking me bugging you? That's it. That's all there is to it. Steve likes it. You liking it, Steve? Yeah, plenty of room. Plenty of room. You gonna let your brothers get in here with you? Your sister? See, heck no. Tell everybody thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my mom's channel. Bye, everybody. Stay safe.